Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Alex again with another video. So today we're gonna be taking a look at a smart kit by Assess Smart. So this is basically like a starter kit. It comes with a camera, some sensors. Anyway, let's get to the unboxing and check this baby out. See how good it is. Okay, so first let's admire what, uh, the box and see what comes inside. Okay, as you can see here, it says pack list. It has one IP camera, one PRI sensor, uh, one doorbell sensor, and two windows or door sensors. Okay, and here you have it. I don't know. I, I don't know the quality is Wi-Fi. That's the good thing. I don't know the quality of the camera, so I will have to check. We're gonna check that out. Anyway, it says keep an eye on every corner of the house. It says doorbell ring, notice message, sent to phone, two way token support, uh, window door sensor open, the camera auto rotates, uh, PR sensor triggers the alarm, catch body movement with automatic. Okay, perfect. So I guess this is the motion sensor or the detection. Anyway, let's unbox it, see what comes inside. Okay. So the first thing you see in the box, a little booklet. I guess all the product information that we really don't care about. We have Get Connected Now. I guess you have to download a, a, an app on your phone. There's also cloud storage. Oh, I, oh okay, so I guess uh, with this camera, you could, I guess you could get a plan or something, or hopefully it's free. I doubt it, the cloud storage, or at least the, 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 the basic cloud storage is free. Anyway, okay, this is the manual. Oh, basic things, I guess a user manual, star guy, whatever. Uh, we will download the app as soon as we get everything set up. Okay, so let's check this camera out first. Okay, all right, just to let you guys know, the camera is really, really light. I wonder if this camera rotates by itself. That would be really, really nice. It has this little thing here, this screw. I guess you can mount this uh, on a wall or something. Okay, it has it has a reset button here. Oh, you can put a memory card, so that's great. A micro USB. Uh, let me show you what a micro USB looks like. Oh, anyway, yeah, check out later. I, I, I forgot it's in the camera, but anyway. Okay, it has a micro USB slot, I guess, so you can record and you can keep it in the camera. The, the storage uh, also has a micro USB, a reset button, and I don't know what this button does, but let's, I guess it's a play button or something or to start it. Anyway, on the front, you got the camera. You have like a little sensor up here. I don't know if you can see it. And you have two speakers on the side. And basically, let's put this on the side, that's the camera. Oh, wow, look, it comes with a doorbell. That's really nice, really nice. I didn't even expect this doorbell. Wow, uh, I don't see any mount mounting kits. Hopefully it's inside or you will have to buy it separate. Uh, more accessories. All right, let's just take everything out. Okay, these are the door sensors. It comes with some screws so you can mount it. Uh, the camera cable. Uh, uh, right now I'm noticing it's really short. So I guess wherever you put the camera, you will have to have an outlet next to it or something. Okay, this is the sensor, one of the sensor, motion sensors. And basically that's it inside the box. So let's put everything on the side so we can figure this out. Okay, so this one comes with, with three M tape, so that's good, you can mount in. Okay, these, these are the sensors. So basically, 
Okay, so, all right, sorry for that. Anyway, basically this is all you get. So you get the cable to power up the camera, you get the camera, you get two window sensor, you get this uh, alarm sensor, and you get the motion sensor. Uh, just so that you guys know, this alarm uh, will not work for me because for some reason, uh, I guess you have to buy like one of those chime. Uh, I, am I saying it right? Chime, chime. I'm not really sure. Uh, the one that you know, the one that makes the noise. And I guess you have to get one that's compatible with this system. Okay. Anyway, let's set all this up and let's get back to the video. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the app store and download the app that we need to control the camera and all the accessories. So let's search on the manual. It says the name of the app is called eSmart Cam. So E Smart Cam. Okay, so is this one here with this logo here? Let's download it. All right, it's downloading now. My Wi-Fi in my home is really is really bad right now. Hopefully that won't affect the quality of the camera itself. Uh, as you can see, I'm using LTE. That's the reason. But anyway, let's get let's uh, let's set this up and hopefully uh, my Wi-Fi is strong enough. And that will also give you like an idea if you have slow connection in your home, uh, if this is good for you or not. Anyway, the app downloaded. So let's just connect all the accessories and set up everything where I want it. Basically, once you register it, uh, all you gotta do is log in. Okay, and then it says here, no camera detected, of course. We have to add friendly reminder, password not bound, okay. All right, let's see. No, no, I don't wanna, come on, I don't wanna do that now. Okay, add a camera. Okay, it's gonna say which camera I have. I have the PTC camera. Okay, and then it says configure the camera. Okay, so it looks like you have options to configure the camera. I'm gonna put the QR code configuration since on the manual they have a QR code. So let's see if it works. Like that'll be a lot faster. Okay, after the power is turned on indicator. Okay, so let's turn on the camera. Just to let you guys know. I plugged it in, it made that sound, and it was also rotating, so I think this is a Pam Soon uh, camera, so that's, that's really good. Anyway, uh, it's loading, as you can tell, okay, the power is on, the light is on, now let's go back to the app. Okay, so basically we're just going to hit next, okay, it says press the camera reset button for three seconds, like I showed you the, the reset button in the camera before. It's in the back. One, two, three. Once you hold it, it's gonna make that noise. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, insert the pin and reset whole camera. And okay, we did this already. Okay, now configure the Wi-Fi. Okay, turn on the Wi-Fi. Please go to okay. Let's go to the Wi-Fi. Let's go here. And I guess we have to look for that camera. Okay, basically, once you get to this screen, you're gonna go check, make sure uh, you have your Wi-Fi selected, you're gonna put your password, and then you're gonna hit next. It says verify, okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna need this, let's see if it reaches, no, it don't. Okay, we're gonna need the camera. Let's see, I'm gonna do this. Okay, so basically, uh, as you can see on the phone, it says, uh, put the camera lens scan QR code on the phone displayed. Okay, and then I guess you have to just put it on front of the camera So let's do that now As you can tell it did a beep It says the camera is connecting to the network please wait So let's see what happens as you can tell in the app, sorry for the angle, there's a countdown going on. I just wanna make sure I get everything. So if you decide to get this product, uh, yeah, I don't have to struggle and know everything you have to do. Wi-Fi fail. Okay, as you can tell, it just said Wi-Fi failed. Uh, 
most likely that means I put the wrong password, so I will have to try that again. Anyway, let's try that again and and go through the process again of the setup. Okay, so basically once you have uh, the Wi-Fi setup and you hit continue, uh, everything should be working. Okay, uh, let's go to the camera to see how it works. Confirm. Oh wow, it looks pretty, pretty crisp. And the good thing is that, that you could, I don't know if you've seen these. Oh wow, oh I'm really liking this camera. Can I put it full screen so you can see it? Look at the quality. I'm gonna try to go in front of it, I don't know how it's gonna look, but uh, y'all be the judge of that. Sure, how's the lag? Hopefully, there's not a lot of lag. Anyway, that was the setup of the camera. Now let's set up uh, the door, the door guard. Like I said, this is real simple. All you have to do is uh, put one side on the on the wall and the other the other thing on the door, and as close together as you can, like that. So when you open the door, it's like away. Uh, this would uh, separate and I guess it will make the function. Uh, the good thing about it is I have a smart home. I'm not sure if this is compatible with it, but I have smart things here in my house, like my AC and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I have a, bal a balcony. I'm gonna install this on the balcony so when the balcony door is open, the AC will turn off. Like that I can control when the AC is, you know, being uh, is on for no reason and stuff. Anyway, uh, let's install these and I'll get back to you guys and do a fresh uh, run through of everything that I did. Hey guys, so as you can see up here, I installed the sensor already for the my balcony door, like I said, my closing door sensor. As you can see, that's all you have to do. Put one side on the side that opens and one side on the wall and you'll be straight. Anyway, another thing that I installed was a camera. As you can see up there, I'll show you the quality in a few seconds. And we also have another sensor here. This is a motion sensor, which I installed there. And then, of course, we have the one in the door. And basically, that's it. Anyway, uh, let's show you what happens when you open the door. Okay, guys, so as you can see, like I said before, okay, here's the phone. As you see, no notification there. So what the, the sensor does is, as soon as you open it, it's gonna take a couple of seconds and it's gonna give you a notification saying that the door is open or the balcony door is open. There you go, as you can see, it's private. Let me unlock it real quick. Okay, I don't know if you can read it. Uh, it's not gonna focus, but it says, living room, balcony, window, and door open. So if I close it, the bad thing is that it doesn't notify me that it's closed, but at least I know when it's open, so that's, that's a plus. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm gonna open up the app now, the camera app. Okay, as you can see, it shows you a preview right away. So when you turn it around, it goes to full screen mode. As you can see, that's my daughter there on the other side. Anyway, so let's show you one of the features it has. Okay, so one thing about it is that you can hear what they, you can hear uh, the, what they doing or what they saying. And also the good thing about that is that you could talk to them. So for example, hey baby, what you doing? Drinking coffee. Okay, basically that was the function of the two-way radio you can also mute it okay the 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 best thing about this camera that i say is that it's tilt and zoom so i got my setup there because i was making the video there as you can tell i could change the angle i could also zoom in as you can see so that's good if you want to get somebody face or something something's going on in the house you know there's a robber or something uh you're gonna have a good quality video Anyway, people, uh, I hope you enjoy this review of this uh, camera system. Uh, my opinion is is, is really good. Uh, everything looks great. The ca uh, camera uh, quality is good. Uh, the only thing is that the uh, I, I I just think that the app this app should get an update uh, because there's a lot of things that I don't understand uh, how to use with other systems. For example, uh, to use all these smart features, of course you need to have uh, different things, but 
basically this is the ones i have i have the doorbell i have a balcony the front that's how i named it front door this is the sensor and basically that's it hey guys i forgot to mention this is another part of the kit uh it's a doorbell uh you can mount it outside your door uh my wi-fi in this house is not really good so i won't be able to use it like once i put it outside like it has no reach i'm not sure if that's uh because uh they don't have long range or it's just my wi-fi here most likely it's my wi-fi anyway let's try it to see what happens and what happens is that i don't know if we can, okay that the camera is the one that makes the noise anyway people thanks for watching please subscribe to the video don't forget to like and i'll see you next time peace out